Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new Russian super battleship Admiral Ushakov. Now the Ushakov is a very large ship with a total displacement of over 100,000 tons and is based on one of the variants of a Soviet post-war battleship project better known as Project 24 with nine 457mm guns making up its main battery. Now the Ushakov follows the Kremlin into the tech tree at tier 11, maintaining the main features of its predecessor with a very large amount of hit points and very powerful armor. When it comes to availability, just like many previous super ship releases, Admiral Ushakov and Saikiryu will be available in two separate slots in the 0.11.10 auction or lighthouse event. Just like before, the minimum bids will be 100 million credits with 500 lots for all four servers. And this auction will run from the 1st of December 2022 until the 5th of December 2022. Now, just like last time, the price of the auction will be uniform, so all winners will pay the lowest winning bid. And the Ushakov will then become available for everybody else in the tech tree with the release of 0.12.2 in 2023. So, okay, moving on as per usual with a ship review. Let's start by putting up the complete build on screen that I've been using in this gameplay footage. Just looking at the upgrades, I have gone for steering gears in slot 4, but damage control mod 2 is a very viable option. When it comes to the captain skills, I have gone for full tank, including vigilance to help reduce torpedo damage, but otherwise a pretty standard tank build. So this all ties in directly then to the ship's survivability. Now the Ushakov gets a truly massive 135,300 hit points and with this build a torpedo protection damage reduction of 42% really really strong defensive numbers now when we look at the armor layout just using a simple port screenshot we can see four end plating of 32 millimeters upper plating a icebreaker four end armor belt of 60 millimeters reinforced by 180 millimeters as we get closer to the turrets. The main deck armor is 60 millimeters. The upper casemate is 150 millimeters. And the main armor belt comes in three sections 450 millimeters underneath the turrets. Under the main superstructure, this is slightly reduced to 425 millimeters. And again, under the rear turret, belt armor protection, casemate armor of 450 millimeters aft end plating the upper section is 32 millimeters very strong aft end armor belt again protecting the rear turret 180 as we move further towards the stern 300 millimeters and right on the rudder 60 millimeters right on the very end or stern end of the ship 60 millimeters of protection the superstructure itself is 19 millimeters and the main battery gun turrets are very well armoured. A frontal plate of 650mm, sloped upper plating or top plating of 370 at the front and 230 at the rear, while sloped side plating going from the front to the rear, 350mm to 300 and then 250 near the end side. Now the actual rear plating on these gun turrets gets a massive 880 millimeters of armor protection. Additionally, the barbette armor is very strong, 610 millimeters of all round protection. If we just use this quick screenshot of the Citadel, we can see it is pretty well protected, ever so slightly reaching above the waterline running from the rear turret to the front turret. This is the Citadel on the Ushakov. So, very well protected. A very, very tanky ship indeed. So, moving to the main artillery, Admiral Ushakov gets nine of these 457mm guns. 
Now with this build they have a reload time of 29 seconds. They can rotate 180 degrees in 34.5 seconds. A max dispersion of 266 meters and a max firing range of 21.3 kilometers. So the range is a little bit limited when compared to other tier 10s and super ships. Now I did state the max dispersion is 266 meters, but the Ushakov does get access to the immediate main battery fire adjustment. And when activated in game, you will get a 30% reduction in the main battery shell dispersion while increasing the main battery range by 10%. These 457 millimeter main battery guns can fire both high explosive and armor piercing. The high explosive does a max alpha damage of six and a half thousand with a 45% fire chance. These shells can penetrate 76 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 800 meters per second. The armor piercing shells have the identical shell speed of 800 meters per second and can inflict a max alpha damage of 14,500. The Ushakov's secondary armament is also quite formidable. You get 32 130 millimeter guns. These have a base firing range of 7.7 .7 kilometers. They fire high explosive shells with a reload time of 4.5 seconds. They can inflict a max damage of 1900. They have an 8% fire chance. They can penetrate 22 millimeters of armor and quite a fast shell speed of 900 meters per second. 32 of these 130 millimeter guns. When it comes to dealing with enemy submarines, the Ushakov does get access to the airstrike depth charge, two attacking flights with a reload time of 30 seconds, one aircraft per attacking flight, dropping two bombs with a max damage of 4,900. Moving to the Ushakov's AA defense, an AA defense rating of 97, Ushakov gets 14 quad mounted 25mm guns, 48 57mm guns, and the secondary battery of 130mm. These 32 guns are dual purpose, they also double up as AA mounts. Now, all combined, they pump out a continuous average damage of 570, the majority of which is medium and long range damage. Ushakov can fire 12 shell explosions per flak salvo, quite impressive, with a max damage of 1890. Priority sector reinforcement of 35% and the max firing range on the Ushakov's anti-aircraft defense is 6 kilometers. When it comes to maneuverability, now the Ushakov is simply said a massive ship. You get a base speed of 30 knots. Now you can increase this with the Sierra Mike to 31.5. A truly massive turning radius, a turning circle radius of 1290 meters and a rudder ship time of 17.3 seconds. And now this is using the steering gears mod in slot four. Being such a gigantic ship, this is also reflected in the ship's concealment. Ushakov has a concealment rating with a full stealth build of 34 which equates to a surface detection range of 14.4 kilometers you will be detected by enemy submarines and enemy aircraft both at 13.3 kilometers so not exactly what you would call a stealthy boat so this is the admiral ushikov or super gremlin that is going to be available in the lighthouse auction event the armor on the Ushakov is really really quite impressive indeed and this ship is capable of tanking very very large amounts of damage once you activate the accuracy buff I have found these guns to be quite impressive nine of these 457 millimeter guns very tanky ship indeed for those Kremlin lovers out there this can be considered to be the natural evolution some would say OP upgrade 
But it is what it is. This is the new super ship, Admiral Ushakov. I hope you enjoyed this quick little preview of some gameplay. Nothing really spectacular in this game. I don't want to give too many people the wrong impression. But this ship is capable of tanking and dealing out some massive amounts of damage. So if you'd like to see some live gameplay, feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. I stream there regularly during the week. You can see the link here on screen and I look forward to seeing you all. Torpedoes, dead ahead! Dead ahead. The ship is on fire. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. destroyed an enemy battleship hull breach we're taking on water quickly problem solved sir the ship is on fire
like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sealing it like you stole it.